Hi friends and welcome to my channel. My name is Susanna and in this video I'll be showing you how to dodge and burn in Photoshop for black and white photography. You can also find the step-by-step -step guide of this process in the description box below. First, we have to set up our dodge and burn layers. Go to the adjustment layer and select curves twice. Hold shift, select both layers and drag them down to the group making icon and create a group. Label your group dodge and burn. Go to the top layer and label it Dodge, as this will be your highlighting layer. Then go to the second layer and label it Burn, as this will be your contour layer. Back to your Dodge layer, go to the pointing hand and select it. Go to your image, choose one of the most highlighted areas of the face and click and drag your cursor up, all the way up until the entire image is brightened, and don't worry, it won't stay like this. Select the layer mask of the Curves Adjustment layer, hit Ctrl I and this will invert the mask, changing it from white to black and making it invisible. Go to your Burn layer next and we're gonna do the same thing. Select the pointing hand, go to your image and select the shaded area of the face. Click and drag your cursor down until the entire image darkens. Select the layer mask of the Curves Adjustment layer, hit Ctrl I and this will invert the mask, changing it from white to black and making it invisible. And that's it, your setup is done, let's get to work. From this point forward, you only need to use the brush tool. Make sure that you're using a soft brush with zero hardness and keep your opacity and flow to the values that I'm showing on my screen. Check your foreground color and make sure that you're painting with white. Starting on the dodge layer, I'll be lightening all the areas of the image where I can see highlights. In black and white photography, you can really push your highlights and contour. Having everything in your image in grayscale means that you can easily have more contrast without it looking unnatural. And as you edit, you'll notice that your image will start looking crazy highlighted and contoured, but remember that at the end we'll be turning down the opacity on all the layers, including the entire group. Moving on to the burn layer, I'll be darkening all the areas of the image where I can see shadows. Keep changing your brush size to match the areas that you're working on. And don't be afraid to really push it and don't worry if it looks extreme, at the end we'll make everything look normal. Keep burning until you've darkened every shadow and outline. Now that I'm done with dodging and burning, I'm gonna start playing with the opacity of my layers and turn them down a bit so that I can make everything blend seamlessly. I always start off by turning down my layers to 50% opacity and then I move on to the group and turn the opacity down as well.
I'm pretty satisfied with how everything looks, but I still feel that the image is a bit too bright. So I'm gonna go down to my adjustment layer again and select another curve layer. And just like before, I'll be using the pointing hand cursor to click and drag downwards on my image to darken it. This time, I'm just using the curve layer to darken the entire image and nothing more. Conversely, you can use the curve layer to brighten your image if your edit ended up looking too bright. And that's it. I'd love to hear your feedback or questions, so drop me a line in the comments section down below. And if you'd like to see dodging and burning in color, check out the link in the top right corner. Thank you for watching and please consider hitting that subscribe button before exiting this video. Take care!